My vision is to create a culture of high performance, one in which student achievement naturally flows, one in which excellence is the norm, it's not an exception, one in which students, they're just expected to do well, they do well, they participate in various opportunities, one in which teachers teach at very high levels, principals lead at very high levels, staff performs at very high levels, one in which our community decides that we expect our students to do well. It's not an exception, it's just our expectation. A good school is not just about test scores, it's about what's in the building, having the right folks in the seats in those classrooms, making sure that they're there, not just for a paycheck, but they're there doing what is best for children. I'm excited about the vision and visionary of our school district now. My vision is to, for this entire community to embrace what it means to be high performers, whether it be early learning, mathematics, science, STEM, social studies. Our students should just be expected to do well. Wherever they go, whatever grade they're in, whatever the subject is, they're expected to be college and career ready, period. I expect our students to go to work. I expect them to go to college. I expect them to take full advantage of careers, post-secondary options. I'm so proud of the opportunities that the Clayton County School System gives them so that they can work on the things that they are proud of. Everyone's expected to do well. There are no exceptions. Being committed to high performance takes a growth mindset. That means we know what we want for our students and we're gonna give them every single opportunity to achieve at a high level and not necessarily accepting the bare minimum. High performance to me means that we're gonna give our students the opportunities to take honors classes, AP classes, to prepare not just for career, but for college as well. Wherever our students want to go, having that high performance mindset means that they're going to excel in whatever area they choose for themselves. Our students in Clayton County Public Schools are eager to learn, they want to learn, their parents want them to learn. They come every day hungry for the knowledge. They are our future leaders. They are our young people becoming the next leaders of our nation. The leadership here in Clayton County is unique in that you have very experienced educators who have worked in very diverse situations who really understand what it means and what it takes to produce a culture of high performance. We've worked in populations that were uh, challenging, and we've worked in populations that were less challenging. Each and every year, um, our high schools consistently graduate students that are going to the nation's best colleges and to uh, the service academies in our country. We've been able to see student achievement always improve, consistently improve. In the past, we, we did have high performance mindset in pockets of the district, but it has taken the effort of our superintendent, his cabinet, and everyone else at the district level and our principals to ensure that we have not only high performance in those areas around our district, but every area in our district. Yes, we have a set of state standards that tell us the what, but beyond the what, we have to define the how. How do we make them see themselves in the work that we're putting before them so that they begin to think about their futures? We want our students to be able to not respond to the question of what do you want to do later in life, but what problem do you want to solve? The leadership in Clayton is, is unique in that you have individuals who really believe in K-12 education. We understand the power of K-12 education. We're all beneficiaries of K-12 education. Our children are achieving. We have a magnet program in almost each and every one of our schools. We are all in this together. It takes an entire village to raise schools and students, and we must have the support not only of the staff members, central office, and the schools, but we need our stakeholders, our community members, our parents, 
because this is what's gonna build our future and shape our future leaders. But students that are sitting in our classrooms today are gonna be our future doctors, our lawyers, our nurses, or maybe even a president of the United States. Clayton County has what it takes and it's got to be where we all are in it together, holding hands and working as a team. A hidden gem in Clayson County Public Schools is our Performing Arts Center. I say that to everybody that I meet, everybody that comes into our facility, they are amazed as to what we have just hidden right off of I-75 in Jonesboro, Georgia. It is a phenomenal facility. We do musicals in that facility. We have other organizations come in and display their artistic talents. It's just a very good opportunity for Clayton County to take a hold of the arts in Metro Atlanta and show everyone across not only Georgia, but across this country and this world what we can do in the arts. What I want people to know about Clayton County Public Schools is that we believe in children. So don't believe everything that you hear. Believe what you see. People know that something special is happening here in Clayton County Public Schools. We believe in our community. We believe in our students. We believe in our teachers, our staff members. We believe in our principals. Every year we're growing children. With the efforts of my teachers, my fellow students, and my community, I'm ready to take on the world. We fundamentally believe that at our core, that our community deserves excellence. And every year, we're raising the bar. Anytime anything is new, everybody's apprehensive. It's the unknown. They don't know what to think. Working with Dr. Beasley and his cabinet, the new leadership in our district, it's been something that we have been longing for. Um, something that our district needed, a breath of fresh air. The impact of this leadership has been one of professional growth. Dr. Beasley and his team have really worked to grow leaders. I've been in the county 22 years and I have never seen such collaboration and cohesiveness. But you can't improve the pedagogy of a school if you don't improve the pedagogy of the people that lead the school. So I've really appreciated the opportunity to learn and to grow in who I am as a leader. With Dr. Beasley, he's that one that is supportive. He's been the one that has says, these are your schools. You know what you need to do. I want you to run them well, and I want you to do what's best for children, making sure that Clayton County continues to be that best kept secret on the south side of Atlanta and we're gonna to continue to strive to focus on student achievement and do what we're supposed to do for our children. I've had the privilege of working with our students in our county for the last 25 years. What's the biggest difference this year from last year and the years past? We are focused on not just a commitment to high performance, but a commitment to ensuring that our students, when they leave Clayton County, they will be prepared to compete truly in a globally competitive environment. Not only have we established partnerships with our local business leaders and community leaders, we have embraced the interest of business partners outside of our districts. The Clayton County Chamber of Commerce is committed to high performance of our school district and we'll partner any way we can with the schools and the business community to make sure that that happens. Uh, we are strategically uh, located to be one of the most thriving communities in the state. The Aerotropolis Atlanta Alliance is an economic development partner who focuses on a regional approach to development. We partnered with Dr. Morsey Beasley, who now leads our education collective, that can now really focus on all the many opportunities that exist within the region and how we can properly position Clayton County Public Schools to succeed. Education is the most important aspect of economic development. We have the world's busiest airport. We have four interstate highways one of the most great locations you can have in the, in the world. We have a flexible and strong education system to prepare our students for the future. Understanding that our position is the global gateway to opportunity. Clayton County is a gem on the south side of the city, and it's a force to be reckoned with. Creating a culture of high performance 
is the pulse that's driving the revitalization of our school district and our community. We have uh, some of the finest students and, and I, I think sometimes that gets lost in the news that you see about what's going on in schools. We're uncovering that gem every single day and telling our story, shaping our communities and helping to develop our students and making a difference in the lives of every single citizen that live within Clayton County community. I am Dr. Ebony Lee. I am the Director of Curriculum, Instruction and Assessment. I am Tammy Burris, Principal of Mara Elementary. I am Jeannie Wynn, Principal of B.C. Haney Elementary. I am Dr. Alika Anderson, School Board Member, District 8. I am Dr. Morsese J. Beasley, Superintendent of Schools, Clayton County Public Schools. I was elected unanimously to serve as superintendent by this Board of Education, May 8th, 2017. And I am. I am. I am. And I am committed to high performance in Clayton County Public Schools.